On today's stream, I watched some of YouTube's creepiest videos. I found a playlist that has 15 years worth of the most weird and creepy videos that you've probably never seen before. Some of these were strange and unsettling and seemed to have no reason to them other than to just be weird. And after that, we watched some of the weirdest ghost encounters people have uploaded onto the internet. This was a creepy stream. But if horror is what you love, then this is the place for you. So please do feel free to subscribe. I do plenty of horror-based content over on my Twitch. All of it gets uploaded here. So if for whatever reason you can't get over to my Twitch to watch it live, sub to this channel so you never miss a video. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this stream. Without further ado, let's start watching this playlist. Uh, these are supposedly the creepiest videos on YouTube. Never seen any of them. Don't know what to expect. Apologies if any of these are disturbing. I have no idea what is in them. Feel free to, to leave if you get overly disturbed. Uh, but I assume if you've clicked on this stream, you're probably relatively resilient. And uh, this won't be any problem to you. Anyway, let's uh, thank Poutif for the tier one. 10 months of joyous whimsy. Jack, I missed you buying on Twitch man how's er before Christmas bin. It's been good. Anyway, let's start, eh? Let's just start. We're gonna be brave. We're gonna be brave. We're gonna be brave little boys and girls today, okay? We're gonna do that. Turn on the best. Thank you for the tier one. No! No! Happy 10 months, Mr. Manifold. Off to a tremendous you start. You uh, I said we're gonna be brave, and he said no. Great. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate it. That was, uh, well, that's a great start. That was weird. Uh, someone just fucking said it looks like you. Fuck you, it looks like me. Oh. He does not look like me. He's like a thumb. He's like a little thumb. Look at him. He's like if you took a golf tee and put a face on it. That isn't me at all. I have ears beneath these headphones. I just always wear these. And I have a mo more formed nose. Twins, fuck you. All right, never mind. We're done. I'm already done. I'm already done. Blood in there. It's gross. It reminds me of Sally Face somehow, the art style. Okay. It's a conveyor belt. I am in your wall. Ah! Scary, scary chatter, scary chatter. Guys, do not scare me with donations and maybe subs. I would hate that. you either. Hello. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was... Someone help I am in Jack's basement. He kidnapped me help. I didn't, I didn't do that. I would never do that. I was giving him a kiss, a little kiss. A little... Let's have a head. Never mind. He's pouring pus into his jug. Like an evil puss? It's gross. Oh, oh, I don't like that. That's like an actual JPEG. That's really perturbing. What the fuck are you? Oh, your hands look like penises! Fuck out of here, penis hands! Put your phallus shaped up fucking limbs away! Oh, no, don't drink his puss. subs that came through, by the way. I really do appreciate it. Okay. Oh, okay. Coraline looking ass. Ah, yes. The time. Oh, the house. Susan Faye, thank you for the prime. Okay. Nothing's happening on the screen right now, right? Are these creepy videos or a compilation of all of your past lives? Fuck off! I'm not weird! Like, I'm- I'm a human boy! Come on now! 
When have I? Oh, I, I get it. Because he's British. Look at his teeth. He's obviously British. He's you. He's got no hair and he's British. He's you. You're not original. Grow up. Move on. We don't. I don't have hair. We get. I'm British. Ha! Ah, I drink the. T ooh, ooh, ooh. This is me drinking tea. Fuck off, man. I'm a real boy. Anyway, six to six now. The evil time. Six is an evil time. Oh, it is. I was right. I've got an itchy neck. I don't like it. It's as if something's crawling down it, like an evil. What do you do? Just sit there and wait all fucking day? You creepers always? You little fucking creepy dude, British man. Hello, governor! It's the morning! That's what he says. Face. That cool cool is. Great day back. It was alright, thank you. Is that gonna attack his fucking house? Run away, weird British dude! Run! Oh, never mind, the tap's back on the bus. Oh, he's back. Penis hands. I'm getting like anxiety for him. Oh, he's here. Did he finish his drink? Oh, yeah, he killed him. Oh, dear. Yep. Right back to that. What the fuck was the point of this? Like, I'm more just confused by like... You know what always confuses me? What fucking sick human being, what, what creature, what animal made this? Ben Wheel. Got 5.3 million views. Is, they, is this all they make? Oh. It appears you do. I don't get it. Uh, from his first ever animation from 2003. I'm so confused. Like, I really don't get the point. Ohio explains it all. Oh, yeah, the cornfields. Those Ohio cornfields in the back. That's definitely Ohio. Who's behind you? Slenderman! No, it's just a treadmill. Pete the Meat Puppet. Oh! His face is not made of bacon, obviously. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, no, no, put that away! Oh, I honestly... I thought I was gonna see a tit. I was, like, panicking. I thought I was gonna have to fucking delete the stream. He came to life from drinking breast milk? Guys. Guys. I want to eat him. Uh, guys, he drank breast milk from the teat and then he came to life. Guys, I'm having a big idea. Guys, what would happen if, I, if, 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 me, if, if meat can drink breast milk and come to life? What would happen if an already alive, say, 20 year old human man was to drink breast milk? Guys, this is research we need to know. Guys, guys, I think, I think someone, and I don't know who would be so crazy to volunteer for this, but guys, 
I think somebody should drink the milk from a breast to see what superpowers they would, would get. Do we not all think this? I think I'm seeing a lot of Jack no, but I'm personally thinking, Jack, this you're bringing medical science years forwards. Um, I'm disappointed that not more people support me. I'm gonna zoom the camera in a little bit. Hello? Hi, there we are. Do we not? Hello, Jack, I am stuck in a blizzard RN, but can't stop that Jack manifold grind biceps. Most people are saying no. You're interesting people. You, what are you people of God? You don't believe in science? You're being held back by your beliefs. Your beliefs of what's normal and what's not, they're holding you back from your true potential. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you literally just Emma for the two months, by the way. Sorry, I... Well, no, he isn't, he killed his mother. Slow down, who are you, fucking Eminem? And they made me the clown face mascot of the whole entire franchise. And overnight, I became a celebrity, a household name. My face was pasted everywhere. I have so much fortune, so much fame. He's really, oh, he's on design. Married me an ex beauty queen. What, you had kids of meat? What, Pete? <laughs> Pete, wait, Pete! You were just a you were just a young little boy. Wow, what the fuck happened to Pete? This is fucking. This is what fucking childhood. This is what childhood fame does to people. This is the Tommy in it pipeline. The, what the fuck? What happened to Pete? You got fans and cheat on your wife. Because of all the coke you're doing, Pete. I'm good, Pete. I don't even need to know how the story ends. I really don't. I really don't need to know how the Pete story ends. Pete should go to jail, I think. I think we should send... He is made of me. I don't know what how it would work. I... I... Pete really went downhill, you know? He... Maybe we don't want to try drinking breast milk, I don't think. I think, actually, the effects it had on Pete's brain weren't great. Maybe, though, that was also the cocaine that led to that decision. I say, keep an open mind. Either way, um, I think we saw enough of that one. Let's watch Haunt. This one.
Okay, she's going to bed. Not much is happening yet, uh, which is p perhaps creepier. It's just creepy music and a weird doll, but like it's not, nothing's really happening with it. Oh God, the music cutting. I hit 3 a.m. 3 a.m. is the fucking witching hour. Ooh. Okay. What the fuck? Are you gonna get manifold legal manifold liars to back you up with suing Tommy? Yes, Any obviously. Anyways, 11 months for the Aku Aku guy man dancing medium skin tone. That got like actually kind of creepy. Oh shit, that was like a real jump scare. Good. Wait, this really picked up. You'll close your curtains, maybe. Like, don't sleep with your curtains open. Oh, what the fuck? this point would you be trying to sleep at this point i was like at this point i feel like you've established quite thoroughly that you are actually in danger is that it does it just end Two there also mary M -A -N -I, -F -O -L -D -M -A -S. I oh mary Marif thank you but fuck i think i ruined the jump scare that was kind of good that was actually kind of good. That one was good. I like that one. When was that one made? That's an old one, right? That's surely an old one as well. 16 years ago, 2006. My God. Apparently he's still replying to comments to this day. That's wild. That's cool though. Let's mix it up. Like, we can't watch all of them because that one's like an hour long. But let's 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 mix it up. I'll, I'm gonna go pick one. Like Petscope, we can't watch either. Wait, what? Wait, there's an hour. The first? Oh no. Why does it say it's an hour? Wait. Why does it say it's an hour? It's not an hour. Wait, what? Wait, so how long's this? This one actually is an hour. Okay. I've seen this one. Oh, I've seen this one. I know this one. This is one of like the classic creepy videos. This is like classic YouTube creepy. 15 months, whoa, that's the scariest thing here. No, it isn't. Everyone should be sub channel for 15 months. It'd only be scary if you weren't. You are subbed, right? You're subscribed for over 15 months, right? If you're not subscribed, you should... Click subscribe right now for four ninety nine, or perhaps even free if you have a Prime. You won't have to watch any ads. Yeah, this one's a classic. It's like a sobbing man eating like cereal. <laughs> this like weird little thing comforts him. Oh. Twenty yeah, months. More of them shut up. I never really got if this was like some weird absurdist comedy or it's actually supposed to be uh, creepy, you know?
Oh, it's soup. Sorry, it's soup. It's soup. My bad. Um, I never really got that. Like, is it like some like dark like? I feel like Japanese comedy can often just be really absurd. I'm like, is it just some like dark Japanese comedy, or is it like actually? <laughs> God oh my That one was mad! I quite like that one. What did that say? Oh, it says scream. It says scream in Russian. I don't know what that says though. It says something beforehand like No idea what that means. Oh that one's weird. That one has some like that has some proper like you know what it is? You know what it reminds me of? Uh, Marble Hornets, The Lost Ark stuff. It reminds me of, um, like, The Lost Ark stuff, honestly. Body of I'm curious what this is. This one feels like it could be quite good. But I'm like, no, let's see. This EVP was recorded during my work with group who I'm no longer legally entitled to name nor claim any association with. Oh my god, this is so low res. We were checking out a location which was computed to be haunted. Repeat one without processing. Beginning. I can hear it roughly. <laughs> like, yeah, I definitely heard it. No one heard the sound at the time, it was only after I searched the that it became apparent. The photograph which was taken at that moment has to be seen. What are you showing me? What am I looking at? Why did you like add it with like a dramatic zoom as if I can... Alright, nice one D Raymond. What the fuck are you showing me? Can anyone else work out what this is? This picture has to be seen to be believed. Can you believe this? I, for one, cannot believe this. I am flabbergasted by this. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Static. Guys. This is, guys, this is irrefutable proof. Ghosts are real. Guys. Jack, he's there. <laughs> the fucking dramatic zoom is killing me. <laughs> this? Is this what they're trying to refer to? Looks nothing, it like looks roughly like a face, but like how you sometimes look at your bathroom tiles and a pattern looks like a face. That's just human brains going, that's face-like, fuck off. Nah. Um, uh, there's, uh, I do not fuck with that video as much anymore. Not at all. Uh. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> that one says the sex number in it. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That's that's no, no, no. That's that's just epilepsy. That's just it's not even scary. It's literally just epilepsy warning. Oh my god, they're awful!
people had weird ideas for toys back in the day, man. How do they not think this writhing fucking man who's going, ha, 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 doing a fucking joker laugh was going to be in any way entertaining to anyone? <laughs> like, who's laughing with this? You know what I mean? Like, like the idea is that you watch that and go, ah, no, it's fucking horrific. Someone made these and thought they were pleasant. Oh, they all stopped at once. That was creepy. Groaning machine. Oh, it's like those tubes with a. This isn't particularly creepy. Uh I think if you didn't know what it was, that sound could maybe be creepy. I kind of get that. But overall, I'm not that sold. Um, Biznogim. What does that mean? Anyone who speaks, uh, I'm assuming it's Russian. Biznogim. Biznogim. What does that mean? Does anyone know what that means? Without legs. Legless. Okay. Oh. Oh, I already don't like this one's unnerving me already. This one's weird. Okay, it's all in Russian, I don't know what it says. Subtitles by chance? No. Okay, it has. They've swapped his front and back legs. There's no gimp. Manifold trans pride. Obey. 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 Oh, obey. No, obey. Obey. What does that say? I don't know what that says at all. It's just weird. Okay, that that is legless. I can see that as business no game. There's no game. Bro, is that a 2010 top text bottom text meme with the colors inverted in an attempt to make it creepy? Okay, now we good. Now we good. No, 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 no. This one, this one lost its charm. No, it was good for like a few seconds, you know. Like I really fucked with it for a sec. Ooh, Nelson's brother. Hello. Oh, what the fuck? You don't like Nelson at all. Nelson was cool. Oh, what did that- Oh, it said something, it said something, it said something, it said something. Something pop- What did it say? No! Come on, I wanna see what it says. It says hi lol, of course it fucking says hi lol as it does that. Okay, cool guys. Cool guys, all that for hi lol! Hi lol! L O L! Laugh out loud. I'm laughing out loud! Ah! Okay. This is like some fucking local 58 shit. Don't weather warning for your area. Weather warning. The county weather service has issued a warning for a meteorological event. The warning is effective immediately and continues until sunrise tomorrow morning. Oh, this, wait, this is Local 58, fuck. <laughs> my brain is like, my brain is like, this is like Local 58, this is Local 58. I thought I recognized it, that would explain it. Yeah, don't look at the thing. 
But it's like a, it's like an, uh, it's like an edited version of it, right? For weather warning in effect. Okay. For your safety, remain indoors. Do not look at the night sky. Warning, the meteorological event is safe for all to view. Warning has been lifted. Uh, go outside now. If you can read this, look at the moon. Do not, oh shit. My bad. Avoid mirrors. This is just local 58, right? Do not look up. Close and secure possible entrances to your home. Oh, this is, there's more to this. Switch off all the lights. Do not look out of any windows. Do not respond to any knocks on your windows or doors until the all clear is given. Remain silent at all times. Do not attempt to interact with anyone outside of your home. Do not attempt to investigate any noise which em noise. Okay, that bad grammar. Do not attempt to investigate any light outside your home. If you see any unidentified figure inside your home, inside, or from the corner of your eye, do not attempt to investigate. Do not look at the ceiling. Oh, my brain's like getting freaked out now because I want remain calm at all times. I don't feel it. I don't feel it. I don't want to look at my ceiling now. Should any member of your family go missing? Where the sound cut? Do not attempt to search for them. Where the sound go? Oh. You are afraid. We will look together. Oh. It's everyone looking at the moon. This is the local 58 thing. Kind of looks like it's got an evil face in it. Where's that? Oh, this is the Walton Files. We can't, we, we can't watch the Walton Files. We've, we've seen the Walton Files. You know what I want to watch real quick? This is this is not so much a creepy video, more of a, of a creepy real life thing that actually has happened. That someone made a video essay on that I really want to watch. Um... So a video Hold came on, out three days ago about Good it. I saw, I, I saw a TikTok about it the other day. So Half-Life 2, right? Popular game. Really popular game. Okay? And Half-Life 2 um, has obviously... All the models in Half-Life 2, if you didn't know this, all the faces are basically modeled after real people. So they took a picture of people's faces and basically put them on the face of the uh, models. Well, it turns out there is a... Uh, there is a, uh, a, what's it called? What's Hold it called? up. So there is a, um, there's a model within a Gmod in Half-Life 2 called corpse01.mdl. That's the file. And uh, it's basically a burnt corpse bot model for the game. However, you know, I won't spoil that. Good evening. I won't spoil it. I'll, I'll let you guys, uh, I know, I know what it is. No, actually, you know what? Someone said, don't spoil. All right. No, actually, yeah, we'll just, we'll just jump into it. Let's we'll jump into it. Corpse01.mdl is a model you're undoubtedly familiar with if you spent a good amount of time playing Source Engine games. The model appears often throughout the Half-Life 2 campaign, especially in the Canals segment, and it's also a popular player model in Gary's mod. It has historically been the default model for the hobo job in dark RP servers, and you've probably come to associate it with a guy screaming and throwing shoes on RP downtown. But Corpse01.mdl has a bit of a dark secret. It's been well known for a while that the clothes seen on the model are from an earlier cut design of the citizen suit, and that the presence of burnt bodies in the game is the result of a cut combine janitor enemy called the Cremator, but it was recently discovered that the face texture on the model was also developed using a real photo of a dead burnt body. Sadly, I don't think I can show you the uncensored image on YouTube, even if I were to age restrict the video and give it a content- Oh yeah, yeah, so there's gonna be a blurred image, and it's a heavily blurred image, but genuinely real, genuinely real. Half-Life 2, there's a real burnt face that they used to model that thing after. So I, I, I at first thought they transposed it on and that was a real burnt body. It's not, but it's, it's literally, it is modeled after a real picture. 
and warning. So this pixelated one will have to do for now. It's believed that the picture was originally sourced from a medical textbook showing forensics photographs, though verifiable information about something this old is a bit hard to come across online. One user on Reddit claims to recall the man as once being involved with the mafia and having his face torched as a mean of sending a twisted message. Though this is dubious, it would explain the guy's hair being in perfect shape. For a long time, users online have speculated that other models, such as the Poison Zombie and this leaked Fast Zombie model, also use real graphic injuries as references, though I'm not aware of any source images for either of those. This burn victim is the first source photo for a Half-Life 2 corpse I've ever come across, and it looks like they used it pretty wholesale apart from editing the guy's one remaining eye out. And the developer comments- But it's mad! It's insane! Poor- like, I, I can't work, wrap my head around, like, whether the developer was just like, oh yeah, this is how we make it realistic and did it, or whether someone tasked the developer with that. In which case, poor fucking dude, who they had to put through that, like, this is genuinely real. Terry for Valve's later title, Left 4 Dead 2, one of the game's developers, Bronwyn Grimes, recalled, The infected textures are part hand-painted, part photographic reference. One of our team members had a nightmare folder full of photographs of people suffering from bizarre diseases and injuries. They were so hard to look at that the infected actually contained none of these. Instead, the secret ingredients for infecting normal-looking human textures are photos of housing insulation and potato skins. It would seem that since You see what I mean? Poor fucking developers look at the most, like, grotesque images ever, and then they're like, oh, it's too much, we won't put it in the game. I've discovered this new technique, they've stopped making use of real gore images for model and texture references. It's a controversial yet surprisingly common practice really? that the gaming industry consider unethical due to the profound effects it tends to leave on developers, such as lifelong PTSD and nightmares. And on Mortal Kombat 11 dev died as a PTSD because of games violence. One of the developers that worked on NetherRealm's Mortal Kombat 11 claims that working on the ultraviolet video game led to a lack of sleep and PTSD. Jesus Christ. On the level of the player, it's kind of creepy to imagine how many of us have walked around Gmod servers and made memories with this model online, completely oblivious to its morbid origins. Just imagine you get viciously burnt to death by the Mafia, and then in death they turn your disfigured body into the Dark RP Hobo. That's- Exactly! It's so fucked! Like, think about that! That's such a, like, good point. Like, you die brutally. You got torched by the Mafia. Like, one of the- one of the worst ways, I think, to die. Uh, and they fucking- they- they just put you in Half-Life 2. Like, that's it! You're just in Half-Life 2 now! As the Dark RP- you're, you're in Gmod as Dark RP Hobo! You throw shoes! Or you're like, uh... Admin, Admin, he's throwing shoes at me! He's throwing shoes, he's throwing shoes! Admin, he's failing RP, he's failing RP! And it's a burnt corpse! It's a real burnt corpse! It's like, he, he, fail RP, fail RP, fail RP! You're failing RP as a human being! An empath! You failed as being an empath! You didn't roleplay empathy well enough! It's crazy, it's crazy, it's like actually insane. It's fucked. It's it's uh, I can't wrap my head around it. It's fucked up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day. It's like wild. Thank God it isn't actually. So I I when I f first heard the news was under the impression that they actually just put an image of a burnt man on the thing. So it's good to know at least they hadn't actually taken a real image and went and kind of put the face on there. But like, man, like no. Y you know what it is. I've there's a video about it which I've never watched in full. Um, tell you what. Oh, um, why is Gmod so creepy? There's a video about it. If you it's not very long. We'll watch it real quick. Maybe I already watched this on stream one time. But, like, have you ever played Gmod or, like, Half-Life games? Do, do you not think that they're creepy? Like, they're creepy. They are fucking creepy. There's something about, like, loading into a Gmod empty world. Like, you know, you know what it is with Gmod? I've always, like, I, I used to play on, um... Oh, uh, not this map. Which, which one? Uh, skim through the video, it'll be there. Sure it will. Uh, this one. This map. In fact, Gmod started as a mod for Half-Life. Th this, this, this one that he just spawned a big guy into. Um, and like, there's something about Gmod that creeps me out. Like, I, th like, I, I, like, on that map, there's a hidden room with just a doll sat in the back. Right? And it's like, to me, it feels like when I'm on a Gmod world by myself and I've not spawned anything in, there's something watching me. That's what I feel like. I feel like I'm being watched. And I feel like at some moment, something's gonna fucking kill me. All the time. All right? Like, it, is Gmod installed on this PC? I'll load in and literally show you. Hold on. Like, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about if, if, if it's uh, installed, but it might not be. I haven't. 
I mean, I'm logged into my fucking Steam on this PC. So this is the one at my parents' house. Um, let's have a look. It might be there. There's a chance it might be, but it will take forever to load because I have like a trillion and... Oh, no! No, 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 no. I can't. I definitely can't boot Gmod. Remember that guy who, uh, he went a bit like crazy and he was like a mass, he was like one of the most popular Gmod, uh, mod devs and he went crazy and he replaced all his mods with a thing that when you boot the game just screams and shows you images of like a prolapsed anus. Like, I, I think I have some of his mods installed. Um, I don't, that happened. I don't think I could boot Gmod because I haven't went through and cleaned up my mods folder because I don't really play it anymore. I, I'm scared that if I, if I booted it, I'd see a bumhole. I'm very sorry. That's a real thing that happened. Also, Howie Mandel's TikTok, but we'll move on. Um, but yeah, there's a video about it, about like Gmod being creepy. But I'm sure not more, more people relate if to this. If you've played Gmod really for weird. long enough, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That source game feeling, loneliness, isolation, distance. A game where you can literally spawn anything you can dream of into an empty world should be quite the opposite of what I'm describing, but it isn't. If yeah, never... I, it is. Source games are just creepy. Like, I, I, I think because Half-Life was supposed to feel a bit dystopian, it uses all the Half-Life textures and sound effects and stuff. It just feels, like, eerie. But, like, it shouldn't be. It's just an open-world source game. We could spawn anything. It should be like Minecraft. It should be tranquil. But it's not. It's fucking eerie. Play Gmod and have no idea what I'm talking about. Or at least if you haven't played alone on the right maps before. Just take a listen and see for yourself. This map I never found to be particularly creepy. It's like the least creepy map. Yo, welcome Raiders. Hope you're doing well. You know what I mean though? So barren and bleak. To answer that, let's examine how the game was made. Just give it in a bit because that was just a little bit much. It's kind of making noises. See? That was creepy, but why does this sandbox game, with limitless possibility for fun and creativity, feel so barren and bleak? To answer that, let's examine how the game was made. Source like, Engine, the in-house engine used for masterpieces such as Half-Life and Portal, was the engine chosen to make Gmod. In fact, Gmod started as a mod for Half-Life. Eventually, it developed Ugh. its own standalone game, but the Source Engine stayed and still stays to this day. But why are these games so creepy? Think about all the- uh, This guy's not very engaging. He's, I'm getting a little bit bored. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been on TikTok too long. I can't do that anymore. All right. We probably should go back to creepy videos. I just kind of wanted to like, I don't know. I wanted to kind of get over that. Also, uh, I, I'm just kind of, before we move on to creepy though, before we move on to creepy, I got a video on my recommender just called Dude Turned Into Saul Goodman and I'm very intrigued as to that. So we're gonna watch this first. Boy, looks like fucking Saul Goodman. Anyway, um, sorry. Um, oh, Jesus, right. That's funny. That was a funny little video. Right, okay, let's go back to, uh... I found, like, a scary compilation. That should be quite good. Let's give that a little gander. Oh, well, my face is right in the way of the thing we're probably supposed to be looking at. The following video comes from James Fodder, who recently bought a doll from a second-hand store. Apparently, the doll is worth a lot more than what the store was selling it for. For this reason, James had bought the doll. However, ever since bringing it home, strange things have been happening. 
From hearing strange noises at night, to seeing doors open and close on their own, James suspects that the doll might be responsible for the unusual activity in his house. Oh, the fuck? And so, he decides to record the doll in front of a camera inside an empty room. He hopes to capture footage of something that would prove it's haunted. Initially, nothing odd is captured in the first few days of recording. But then one night, something very strange happens. Now the camera that he uses what? is programmed to move wherever it picks up movement. So if something moves, it will point to that object. We could see it doing that in this footage. But strangely, the camera pans around the room as though it's picking up movement from somewhere. This is what was captured. Okay. Okay. Did the doll move? Doesn't seem like it. So yeah, why is the room empty? No, if you don't want a creepy house, decorate my guy. Put up some put some fucking furniture in this damn place. Also, equal if you want to prove that like something's haunted, like a place is haunted, surely you put furniture in it. You know, a ghost can't move your furniture around to prove that it's real if you don't have any furniture. You fucking, you know, this is what the whole Paranormal Activity franchise is fucking built off of. Could it be that the camera is detecting an unseen presence? Or is it just not functioning properly? Yeah, I think it's just glitched, to be Although honest. Although it's likely that there's a problem with the camera, something really creepy happens two nights later inside the room, which has okay. made him think that the camera was actually picking up something. James is away from home when okay. the following happens. He writes, Just wow. I've been leaving the closets open in case anyone thinks I'm hiding inside. What? I don't even know Why what would you say. be hiding in the closet, my dude? This is what was captured. Okay. Again, it's just being weird and moving. Whoa! What the fuck? That was weird. That was fucking weird. An evil fucking cat or something. An evil witch's cat. An evil green witch's black cat was there. Out of James's bathroom comes out what appears to be a dark, shapeless figure. It seems to weird. dart across the floor before disappearing from sight. James believes that this may have been the apparition that was being picked up earlier by the camera. He also thinks that this mysterious figure might be attached to the doll. Ever since then, he's been filming more at night. I know what a camera looks like! Little Sorry. does he know that he would eventually capture something more terrifying than this. What more? James is sleeping in his room You upstairs. saw an evil black orb! Like, uh, if I saw an evil black orb, I'm moving house. If I ever see an evil black orb in my house, I'm moving. I don't need- look. I've told you guys, I once had an ex-girlfriend who hexed me, put an evil curse upon me. Uh, I don't know what it did, but you know, I, I worry for my life ever since in case she put an evil curse on me to do something evil, right? If I see an evil black orb in my house, right? Okay, it's an evil witch's spell. An evil green witch has placed this hex upon me and I move out instantly. Not like any evil green witches ruin my day. Right? Never. Never, ever, ever. This is why you're bald. No evil black orbs. No evil orbs, full stop. I don't care about the fucking color of the orbs. Just don't want uh, evil, just evil, evil powers, evil spirits. I want, I want rid of them. And I tell them this. I get rid of them. <laughs> and I tell them this, and I go, dude, dude, dude. Literally, dude, you need to leave. That's what I say. I say it like XQC. I actually find that XQC, um, no balls? Balls are welcome in the house. Orbs? No orbs. I don't fuck with orbs! When the following happens... Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that's ghost orbs, right? That's- that's fucking Phasmophobia ghost orbs. In- in Phasma, that's like how you know ghosts are there. The ghost orbs? That's a lot of them, too. Realistically, dust, but ghost orbs. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. You just moved a little bit in your seat. You shifted around, little boy. That, that is creepy. That's, that's weird. I'd say the evil black orb scares me more, to be honest, though. You know, if it's propped up weird, gravity can eventually take effect. But, like, you know, evil black orb is weird. Ooh. Okay, now that's weird. No, gravity ain't gonna do that shit. Gravity never gonna do that shit. That is weird. All of a sudden, the doll moves on its own. It appears to move for just a few seconds before abruptly stopping. Feeling very unsettled, Ugh. James posts the footage online to see if anyone could explain this video. It's not sure if he'll continue to hold on to this doll, given what occurred. No, get rid of the but fucker! It might be best if he keeps it locked up inside this room, as an occurrence like this definitely warrants it. As always, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, it's something weird, something paranormal bro. occurred? Or had something else happened? I just don't ever trust these people. The, like... This is such good, and like, content, right? Such good entertainment. Like, I'm sorry, if I... If I like, if I saw this, my first thought would be to post it on the internet. It would be, ah! And then maybe, like, a few months later, when I'm safe, I put it on the internet. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't always trust it. I just feel like there's so many good reasons to fake that in the modern age. Notably money that you get from YouTube videos. I mean... That's why I post them, and you should watch them now with SLH Point New Vid. New video on Jet Manifold TV right now. It's actually a video recorded on this Twitch channel. So, guys, if you do like my live content, then you would love it edited down, wouldn't you? Yes. Jet Manifold TV right now. You should go there. Anyway. The following video shows a priest who's about to give a sermon when something really creepy happens. Although not much info is given on the video, the title of the clip says it all, which reads, A priest is about to give a speech, but immediately hears screams. Jesus Christ! They hit us with the they hit us with the no no clickbait in that title. They go straight to the point. They describe that's the description, bro. That ain't the title. That's the description. That they, they they title the video everything. A priest is about to give a speech, but immediately hears screams. They didn't title the creepy video, and then with the, that bro hit us with the to the point. Anyway, that's that Mr. Beast title right there. It's pretty unsettling to say the least. Sounds it. This is what was captured. That's me. That's me in church. El Señor esté con ustedes y con tu espíritu. Lectura. Again. Someone just screamed. Like, you know, people do. So I have I have heard screams Let's in the middle of the night. Less than three. I I live in the center of Brighton. Drunk people be screaming, bro. I, I get it. It is creepy, but like, I wouldn't be like that's paranormal. That's great. Like, you hear that? Like, I you know I was like, the one time it's ever freaked me out is because it sounded like it was a man and a woman having some sort of altercation. Two but, months. Uh, and I was like, should I call someone? And then it, uh, then I kind of like quickly realized that they were just kind of drunkenly arguing. And it was pretty like, they just kind of shouted each other and then went their separate ways. There was like a moment where I panicked. The only time. But, like it wasn't, cr it wasn't creepy. It was just like, I, I, I was like afraid for the woman, you know? Del Santo Evangelio de San Juan The priest was immediately caught off guard upon hearing the mysterious screams. According to those who attended the- So was the altar boy! The, the priest didn't seem to bother this motherfucker! Was immediately he was scared! Upon this guy! The mysterious you know what I mean? Like, he's screams. scared! According to those who attended the ceremony, the priest had to end the mass immediately after this. No one knows why the mass had to end so soon, but there is no denying that the screams had something to do with this. Whether paranormal or not, the sudden occurrence of this mysterious scream is unnerving on its own. 
But with everyone else's reaction to the cry, it makes it even more frightening. Doesn't you see people hear screams and they look for the source? It's this normal. recording was taken about four months ago, and still, no one knows where the cries had come from. As with most videos, this one remains a mystery. Yeah, I wouldn't. Did that just go straight from four to this two? This next video comes from Jack Steph. Okay. Okay, bro. Cut number three. Bro just dropped number three. Does anyone acknowledge that in the comments even? Maybe he like... Oh, copyright claim. Oh, okay. He didn't forget it. He had to edit it. Who spent the night at a hotel that is considered to... My guy hates the number three. Bro's like... Five... Four... <laughs> he goes, five... Four... Yeah! Two! He gets mad. ...be the most haunted hotel in the U.S. The hotel oh, in question place. is known as the Biltmore Hotel, which is located... Oh, that says Buttmore. <laughs> Bro, that says Butt. That says Buttmore. ...located over in Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> and its history is... Rhode Island Family Guy! That's where Family Guy is! ...from seeing objects move on their own. Yeah, you yeah, know, it's really haunted. In the middle of the night, you'll hear... I'm Glenn Cartmire. I'm Glenn Quagmire. I'm Glenn Quagmire. From the halls. From the, from the distance. You just hear it. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. I'm Glenn Quagmire. What the deuce? What the deuce? <laughs> Peter? Peter? I'm Glenn Quagmire. Hi, Chris. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> just wanted to know how many I could do. I kind of, I started running out at the end. I was gonna be like, how many? But then I realized, wrong cartoon. To hearing laughter from parties that well, can't be creepy, found. Mish. Former guests of the hotel have encountered things that they couldn't explain. Ember Ace, thank you for the uh, table, I appreciate it. And just like those who've stayed here before, Hello, Jack Mr. Steffens encounters- I was just watching a video of yours. Anyways, you. Mary Chrysler and happy new queers. <laughs> I like that. Happy new quiz. It's funny. Yay, two good. months sub. Thank you for two months. Love too. Something beyond explanation. When the entire state is reduced to Family Guy. Rhode Island only has Family Guy. Shen. Cohog. Late one evening, Jack is lying in bed inside his hotel room when all of a sudden, there? the bathroom door inside the room shuts itself forcefully. A few minutes pass, two and years, the door opens time all on its own, each month. but then closes again immediately. Don't do that! You insane? Think of the two years, though. Terrified by this incident, Jack proceeds to grab his camera and records the following. This is what he captured. Himself in the mirror? Ah! All right. You can see that the bathroom is down there at the end of the hallway. Yep. The bathroom door is the one that has been slamming itself by apparently unseen forces. What do you mean, apparently unseen? You've been seeing him, or no? Minutes, if it happens again, then I'm gonna catch it. What do you mean, like, apparently? Bro said unseen forces, like, he- I'm like, bro, has you been seeing them, or not? Like, just be clear, just be- just, like, be open with us. Why you gotta, like, be fucking, like, ooh, mysterious and shit? Video. If it doesn't happen again, then I'm gonna set my camera down and try to... just let it sit there and wait and catch it when it happens. Defo is like misses behind the door and she's just gonna go BASH in a second. Do you know what I mean? She's just gonna slam that shit hard. You know his misses is behind the door. Rory's, thank you for the uh, Rory's comment. 13 months. Happy Christmas, Jack. Have a great one less than three. Thank you. I can't see anyone behind the door, admittedly. I'll give them that. Did you see that? 
that. No, mate. No, I fucking don't. Oh, my goodness. Bro said, did you see that? Mm, it was kind of unclear. Could you film that again? Bro, <laughs> no, bro. No, I didn't. Shit, wait. You're telling me that door was open? Oh, my God. I mean, admittedly, it's nothing like a wind slammer. That's definitely like weird if if it really did slam itself. Go in there and prove no one's behind the door, then, bro. There is nobody in this room. Yeah, prove it. Except for me. Hmm. I kind of believe it now. I was like, with some clever camera work, you could very easily have someone leave that while- That is the freakiest thing ever. Oh, I'll give you that. It's hard to edit. That's hard- No, it's hard to edit. Cause like, he- There was one continuous shot. There was no real point where he could like cut. It's- It's hard. I'll give him that. It's, it- That'd be harder to fake. I'll give him that. The door suddenly closes on its own, as though someone had slammed it hard. Based on this recording, we can tell that Jack was left baffled. Now, if Jack hadn't recorded the inside of this bathroom, the authenticity of this video might have been called into question. It could have been that someone was hiding inside and waiting to close the door at the right time. However, as Jack shows us, no one is inside the bathroom. Given the history of this hotel, it seems that something unexplainable was caught on camera. But of course, I'll pass the judgment over to you. Did something it is weird. Let's occur in go. Jack's room? Almost two years or, less than three. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Is there a possible explanation for what Jack had encountered? It's if weird. you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. Isn't four an unlucky number in China? That being said, let's get back to the video. Is that a thing? Just curious about that. Lauren Combs and her dog Luna live in a house located in the middle of nowhere. Nothing but woods surround her home, and very few people come and visit as she lives in a secluded area far from everyone else. Okay. Although Lauren lives in complete kind of isolation, something very strange happened not too long ago that's made her wonder if she's actually alone. One night, while walking her dog through the woods, her dog Luna begins to act strange. The following is the video she took. I hate I, so so. We are about to watch a video. Videos are taken on cameras. Here is what a camera looks like for reference, guys. You are watching the stream through a camera. This is what a camera looks like for reference. Be sure to know what a camera looks like for reference before we watch this video. You've got to know how videos are filmed because if you don't know how videos are filmed. How will you believe it? You may throw it into question, but I'll leave that up to you. Luna. Yeah, the dog spotted something. Luna. That don't gotta be a ghost. Ghost orbs. Is she zooming on anything interesting? Oh yeah, that could be a little figure. Maybe a little something. Why'd you let go of the dog? Go home. Luna, go home. Why'd you send the dog home? No, no. Luna. What are you doing? No. It seems that her dog Luna is sensing someone or something nearby. Yet, there appears to be nothing suspicious in sight. Now, like with most dogs, it could be that Luna had seen a squirrel or some small rodent, thus causing her to react. <laughs> I fucking love when he explains it in the most obvious terms. Like, yep, yeah, no, no, you're right. Yeah, probably that is what happened actually. Act this way. However, this wouldn't be the only time- <laughs> Why is the dog strange, creepy now? As on a different Hiding behind doors. Lauren records the following behavior from Luna. 
What? What is wrong with you? Luna. Her dog wants petting? What is wrong? She's like, what is wrong, Luna? Her dog's wagging her tail, like, stood near her, clearly just wanting to be petted. She's like, Luna, what is wrong with you? Luna, what is wrong with you? Pet the damn dog! <laughs> I can't deal with these people sometimes, man. What? What? The dog wants to be pet! Pet the dog! Yes! Pet, what? What? Would you just say pet the damn dog? Oh my goodness. The dog is not acting weird. Based on these two videos, viewers believe that Luna is sensing something which cannot be seen. <laughs> Whatever it might be, viewers think A smell. that Luna is trying to protect her owner from this unknown presence. Ever since then, she's been acting more strange. But oh, then one God. day, the strangest thing happened. As <laughs> Lauren is resting at home, the following is caught on camera. That's weird. Yeah, that's a little bit weird. I'll give you that. That's odd. Luna, come on. That's odd. I'll give you that. That's odd. It goes without saying, but Lauren was shaken up by this incident. Yeah, if no yeah, one had sure. been at the front door, then how was the doorbell going off on its own? It's because of this incident that Lauren thinks her house is haunted. Okay, let me do a little bit of research real quick. How do classic doorbells work? It's not like an old doorbell. Okay, let me, let me read this. How does a classic doorbell work? A simple chime doorbell uses the magnetic field created by electromagnet to move a magnetic piston strike two tone bars. Let me look at this. Mm. Mm. Electromagnetic is... That's a ghost thing, right? That's the whole, that's not what people believe. Ghosts do affect electromagnetic fields. Uh, oh, well now, can a busted solenoid, solenoid, doorbell sound? Just curious. I'm just trying to find a solution to this because I reckon there's a simple one. I don't know though. It's weird, it's weird. I did say busted, yeah, yeah. I did, I did use the word busted. Although like some think that this might have been caused by an electrical problem, thus causing the constant ringing. I mean, yeah, that's why, yeah, an electrical problem could do that though. Others believe that something else is going on. Uh, like a, an that overexposed blurry image. Though, has led them to believe that the house might actually be haunted. Luckily, the sofa Lauren moves. was able to capture this odd occurrence on her security camera. Take or Hector Salamanca. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's fucking less chance to look at me, Hector. And he's just ringing the fucking bell. It's Hector Salamanca. That's odd. That's odd. That's bizarre. Out of nowhere, the books on the shelf fall to the ground as though they were pushed off horse. Yeah, quite aggressively, to be fair. Like most viewers, Lauren can't think of anything to explain this. But as always, That's odd. what do you think? Could it be that Lauren is actually experiencing paranormal I wouldn't activity? Some people are saying too close to the edge, but that seems to go with a little it's, bit of force. What do you think? Like, I'll, I'll, Could I'll it give be that credit where credit's due. Lauren is actually experiencing... That doesn't, that doesn't look like a book slipping. That doesn't look like it went with a bit of force. Could it hmm. be that Lauren... Look. Ah! Well, no, that could have slipped. That's... Uh is actually oh. experiencing paranormal activity know, it's got a bit of force, or is there something else going on 
Feel free to share what you think down below. Thanks I'm enjoying for these. We're going to watch creepy videos, but I'm quite enjoying, like... I'm quite enjoying this little series. I'm quite enjoying this little series. These are good creepy little videos, aren't they? Because there, there's some discussion to them. We can talk about them. It's not just, like, creepy and, like, oh, We can discuss. However, before we watch the next creepy compilation, which is half an hour long, fucking hell, it's a lot of content. We're gonna run our first top of the hour ad. I'm a little bit late, it's a little bit past the top of the hour, but we're gonna watch it now anyway. Guys, if you are new, uh, then not to worry, there's an easy way to avoid the ads. Uh, you can simply subscribe for the low, uh, hold on, let me, um... Hold on, let me just um, You can simply subscribe for the low, low price of 4 dollars and you will avoid all the ads for the rest of the month. Treat yourself this Christmas. Get yourself a little gift. If you are a gifter, give some subs to me. Christmas is the time for gifting. And of course, do not refuse your gift from Jeff Bezos himself by using your Twitch Prime. Click subscribe and hit Prime if you have the option like Diamond K159. Because guys, you will not watch any ads for the rest of the month on this stream and any other months you subscribe going forwards. And of course, if you are new, since there seems to be a few new people here, feel free to follow. You can follow uh, and your name will appear right there. It is greatly appreciated. Um, I'm live, I, I, obviously it's the Christmas period at the moment. My streaming schedule is slightly less consistent than usual, but I'm live tomorrow. I'm gonna be live Christmas day. And then uh, I'll probably be live the day after Boxing Day. Uh, my family will love it in the celebration after Boxing Day and I prefer like it to do that with them. So, without further ado, I'm gonna run the ends. Uh, we'll chat for a little bit while they run for a minute with the subs and then we'll be right back to the creepy content. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna go grab a drink while they play. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm thirsty, I'm a thirsty boy. The ads are playing! Subs will be right back to chat with you. Hold on, I'll take a drink. I'm back! Why was I saying no? Oh, did you all get your ads? How do you mean? Thank you for the gifted subs. And Casper, thank you for the gifted subs as well. Oh, how are we all doing? How are we all doing? Oh, I tell you what, I'm a little bit tired. I get very stressed when I upload on YouTube. You know, I, I, I uploaded a YouTube video today. I, this is the least stress I've ever been uploading a YouTube video. I don't know why. I just, this one, it's good. It's good. Decent. I'm confident in the title and thumbnail. I just was like, yeah, this is a decent video. You know, is it the best video I've ever put out? No, not bad either. It's pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Can't complain, you know? That's how I feel. Can't complain. Simple as that. Um, you know what though? I was stressed at a certain point. I was stressed at a certain point. You wanna know why? Uh, I, so, I uh, record, what I do whenever I do a video, and you, some of you have seen this because James, Mar James Marriott fucking leaked it, is I, I turn off the stream overlays, and after, like when I do like VOD thumbnails or whatever, I sit up and I just go, <laughs> and just pull like funny faces so I can use them for the thumbnail. And me and Tommy did a video of that, just I was pulling thumbnail faces so I could use it in the thumbnail of the new video that just came out, right? Um, and I, I knew exactly what how I want to do the thumbnail, but I needed these images, right? What do I do? I forget to upload them to the Google. Welcome back, uh, ad viewers. I'm just explaining my stresses of uploading. Um, so, I, I'm talking about making the thumbnail for the new video that just came out today, and you should watch the rest of the video in the chat anyway. So, I, I'm at my parents' house right now, and um, I, I'm like, shit. All right, I better make the thumbnail for the video that's coming out tonight. So, I sit down. I, you know, I start um, making my thumbnail uh, and I'm like, all right, let's go grab, let's pull up the video of me and Tommy and grab a screenshot from it. Can't find it. I'm like, that's weird. I then realize I recorded it and then didn't put it on the Google Drive. And it was all the way sat on my, on my fucking SSD in Brighton. I'm in Mansfield right now. That is quite the drive just to go get a file for a video I had to upload that evening. So, I, 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 I want to do this because I want to thank him. God bless Jadster MC, Jago of the James Marriott Band. God bless him because I called him up and I was like, can you go to my landlord's office and grab my keys and then go to my apartment, let yourself in, go on my computer and upload this footage of me pulling funny faces so I can make a thumbnail. And he said yes. Jago is the goat. He's the goat. He fucking did it. He fucking did it. I was like, 
Thank you, brother. I seriously was like, that shit fucking. For free. For free. He owes me. I helped him do a thumbnail the other day. He owes me. He owes me. I let him come to my house in like the middle of the night just to come take a picture of me in a burger for a thumbnail for his new, one of his new videos. So, um, he owes me. He owes me. Anyways, pause the silly music. Stop right there. Because we've got more creepy to watch. Let's go straight back into the creepiness. Couples inside their kitchen when something pretty terrifying is caught. Wait, what? A couple is inside their kitchen oh. when something pretty terrifying is caught on camera. What? The following video comes from Crystal and Damien, who both Hello, lived happily in the house of their dreams. They had bought their home a few months ago before recently becoming engaged. To the couple, this house has become an important part of their relationship, as without it, their bond wouldn't be as strong. Although happy to be the property owners of this new house, without what? it, their bond wouldn't be to the couple. They had bought their home a few months ago before recently becoming engaged. To the couple, this house has become an important part of their relationship, as without it, their bond wouldn't be as strong. What? What? Um, I'm sure he's just misspoken. Cause that's like really harsh. They'd be homeless. No, I get that, but you sell, what? And the only reason I want to be with my partner is because of the house that we have. I don't think you should be with them. You know? It doesn't sound right. Probably because moving in together strengthens your bond. Sure, but like living together, it isn't re relevant to the house you live in, right? Like you live anywhere as long as you live together. You know? I don't fucking know. Weird. Although happy to be the property owners of this new house, there's something about this place that spooks them just a bit. Sometimes, things would happen that neither Damien nor Crystal could explain. Like what? For this reason, they've set up cameras throughout their house to capture video evidence of the strange occurrences. In return, they would have solid proof that what they're experiencing isn't just in their heads. It's but in real. Fact, something real. It oh, goes okay, without saying, right. but what they've captured has left them deeply unsettled. What On August captured? 6th of 2022, a security camera inside their hallway captures this. It's worth noting that it was past midnight when this happened. Take a look. What? Why is it worth noting? Not foreign. No. It can't be. That is pretty creepy. I'll give him that. That is pretty creepy. I'm noticing the lack of a crystal right now. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm a skeptic. I I I I I would like to believe that crystal's just knocking at the door. I must admit, consistent pause is a bit weird. I'll give you that. That is weird. Bro lingers at the door for a while. Oh, he opened it? It's open? Is it? Looks like he's armed himself. No, I mean, you would actually, you would arm yourself. You've definitely let an evil spirit in there. You open the door, now the evil spirit's inside. Although not really sure what to make of this, except that it might have been someone pranking them or some-
Yeah, the girlfriend never showed face once, which is a little bit weird. Like, I don't know. I I'm a skeptic, but... Crazy person. Joseph the Wise, thank you for the 20 21 months, holy shit. Banging on their door late at night. It's the following video that scares them the most. The couple is inside the kitchen when this is captured. An argument? Keep hanging out with your friends, but that's how it's going to make you feel at the end of the day. Oh, they are having an argument! Like, they don't mean to do it. They're not, they're not, like, planning on, you know, they you don't... You know how it feels to hang out with a group God. of people? And they don't even want you there. Like, like, they... Domestic! It's just a domestic argument! They really are working it. This couple... Guys, I'm not here to judge the couple at the end of the day, but guys... They're only together because of the house? They're fighting? Like, how often do they fight if they, like, they can't find a ghost video where they're not fighting, you know? I'm just saying, where was she in the first clip? Not protecting his ass, that's for damn certain. I'm just saying, guys. I don't... Mm. I... Mm. Uh, you know? They do want you there. They want you there. They, they, you there. they, they like you. you a lot. No, they don't. They that's like... The only they reason. like... Yeah, they like me. They're my friend. But they're because they're my but but they like you a lot. They're acting fucking rude to me. They're not. They're not trying. That's just how they. What? Hey. Just as the argument was getting intense, a plate from one of the cabinets falls on its own. Following that, another plate falls by itself, but not before being flung toward Damien. It's almost as though whatever had chucked it had done so to end the argument between the two. But, as if that wasn't creepy enough, this next video is by far the creepiest. Wait, is the does the ghost have a crush on the girlfriend? Is the ghost trying to is the the gross the gross is the ghost trying to wind out the girlfriend? Do you think? Because that's what I'm gathering right now. <sighs> it's late at night and Crystal's alone at home. We can see her scroll- AND NOW THEY DON'T EVEN SHARE THE DAMN BED! Bro, this is- This- This is failing. The relationship is failing. It's all falling apart. Falling apart. No, I- I- I am just being rude. I'm just being rude at this point. I- I think he's just not in the house. Going through her phone, when out of nowhere, this happens. Oh, the ghost entering the room. There's a hundred bits. So we'll just get recommendations of creepy videos. We might watch those next. She's gonna like fly up into the air and get ragged around the room. She's gonna get flung into walls and we're gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, mm, I don't know about this one, guys. Perhaps thinking that Damien had come home from work early, she waits for him to appear. But seconds pass and no one is seen. Damien isn't there. Oh, no. Understandably, Crystal was shaken up. But it seems that this incident wasn't as scary to Crystal as the most recent occurrence. It's not known what exactly happened, but it's evident that whatever- uh, Oh my god! Sex! Whatever had just occurred has left the couple no choice but to leave their house. In a recent video, Damien explains the situation. Does 
doesn't even yeah. come for a crying girlfriend. We're just so we're um, just outside because it's getting weird. Jungle, I think the two are. And we don't feel safe being in there anymore, so we're just gonna go to a just an Airbnb for the night, and uh, just for the night. And then we're gonna figure out what to do. The activity has become so intense that they can no longer live happily inside their house. Sadly, they have no choice but to leave behind their dream home in the hopes that things would settle down. Feeling hopeless, they book an Airbnb and spend the night mm -hmm. there. Yep. However, the following night, they decide to return home and try something that would hopefully solve their problem. They're According gonna burn some them, sage! By doing a seance, they oh. can reach out to the supp- Things are fucking predictable, man. Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, nah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> that was that was fucking perfect. That was such perfect timing. How can I see the future? Maybe it's paranormal. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh. Posed spirit that is haunting their house. I still don't like the fact that when I did that haunted house video. The lady was like, yeah, well, I was going to, we wanted to conduct a fake seance so that at the end, the, the dog in the dog costume could show up. But, uh, so, uh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, so, so yes, yeah, sorry, I, whatever. I, I didn't mean to say I forgot, my brain switched off. Uh, we did a, she said we do a fake seance and I got up halfway through to do the outro and she's like, you can't get up now, this is a real seance. I was like, what? She's like, yeah, I, I started a real seance for this. I was like, I don't want you to do that. I'd rather not actually be in a seance. She's like, well, we got to sit right down and close the fucking, the, close the seance off. And I'm like, and then if you watch that video, you watch it, it's, it's the, uh, I, I locked Tubbo in a haunted mansion video. At the end, I looked visibly uncomfortable because like the whole time I knew everything that go, was going on was fake. And all of a sudden she's like, this is real. And I'm like, what? Anyway, let's watch that little seance there. Shall we? Burning According that old to sage. Them, by doing a seance, they can reach out to the supposed spirit that is haunting their house and ask it to leave. They do just that and record the entire process of the seance. Little did they know, this would be a bad idea. This is their video. I trust these people the least out of anything we've seen so far. I don't know why, it just feels fake. Like, recording the little update video on the car and stuff, it screams, like, social media attention. In a way, like, I don't want to be rude, and like, maybe I'm being, because at the end of the day, she was fucking in tears, right, leaving the house. I don't know. I just, I don't know. This one just feels the, the least believable. I don't know how they did the plates, though, so at the end of the day, I, it's rude of me to say that. It is rude of me. Burnt the sage. I don't know, I don't think it's sage, but oh well. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. She's gonna lift her head up, she's gonna be like, We are Venom. I'm haunting your fucking house. I don't fucking know, I think he's gonna get all creepy. She's gonna be like, I'm going to eat your balls. For example. I think it was 100 bits. My guy's using dollar saw incense. Okay, like, the ghost doesn't, like, I don't think the ghost gives a shit whether you spent money on it. I don't think the ghost would be like, you didn't spend enough money on this, so I'm not leaving. You should buy more expensive incense. Is he using singing bowls? What is this, a Reiki healing? This doesn't seem like a seance at all. It feels like he's doing a fucking Reiki healing. 
He's like using the fucking the singing bowls and shit. Feels like he's healing her. Anxiety check, thank you for the uh, gifted sub. What is happening? All of a sudden, the shower door begins to shake on its own. With this, the couple rushes out of the bathroom, understanding that something had gone wrong with the seance. Terrified by the incident, they leave the house and return to the Airbnb. To the couple, the safest plan for now is to stay away from home. Given what's happened, this is probably a better idea. But until they come up with an- The only difficult to explain video so far is the plates. Like, if I, like, Say I wanted to make, I don't know, this chair shake, right? Watch this. Watch this. Just watch this. Let me move. You know what? I can't really do it right now because this chair's got a bag on it. It's kind of heavy. Hold on. Shift the bag. We, like... What? There we go. Watch this. Ah, oh, that actually really hurts. Why is this chair so damn heavy? Oh, there's shit in it. The, the point I'm trying to make is, like, just kick the fucking door with your foot. You know, just go... I don't know. I'm just... The only one. Did they even do a sounds? I don't know. Uh, they didn't close it, though. They're gonna get evilly haunted like I was for five seconds when I tried to do my outro. Another solution. Their house remains abandoned. So then, with all that's happened, just what exactly is going on inside their house? Until any updates are given, it seems that this question will have no definitive answer. But as oh, always, less? what's your stance on this? Paranormal or not? What do the comments say? Because this seems fake as fuck. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Side on the corner of the shot, dead set of perfect shots of plates falling after it shoots scripted argument. Just watch. Yeah, no, I yeah, I'm with this guy. I'm with this guy. Every single camera angle is fucking perfect. Like dead center hey. shot. They make a very good point. It's a very interesting point to acknowledge. going on inside their house. An urban explorer named Chris Hill returns to an abandoned warehouse and encounters something far more it's terrifying than the last time he came there. That's a creepy little... Previously, oh, well, like Chris had found a place that is oh, believed boy. to be extremely haunted. It wasn't until looking back at the footage that he took during this exploration that Chris realized he wasn't alone. Ooh. Someone, or something, had been watching him throughout the entire night. Whatever this was, Chris can't help but feel that the supposed supernatural entity is the reason why he felt as though someone had touched him. Ooh, that was weird. Not sure what to make of it. That's weird, but... is the reason why he felt that is as weird. though I'll someone had that. touched that, him. That's a weird little bit of footage. Not sure what to make of it, and disturbed by what the camera had caught, he made it clear that he'd never come back to this place. But, it seems that Chris has had a change of mind, as his most recent video shows him returning to the site. I'd love to f film in like an abandoned place like this. So much. I, honestly, I've said to Rambu, and I mean it. Fucking, I love the idea of a, um, generation lost. Oh my God, the, I couldn't think of the fir first word. My brain wanted to say project so badly. Um, I, I'd love to help him work on that, because I, I, hey, I'm the analog horror man, dude. I love, like, spaces like this. So I just, maybe one day I'll film something like this. I need to find an excuse to do it. I'm back. This is probably a very bad idea. Now, whether or not viewers have convinced him to return is unknown, but if one thing is certain, it's that Chris does not want to be here. He takes the same path he took last time when exploring this place, and just like before, when he gets to a creepy corridor beneath the building, things start to get a little strange. Wow, 
Whoa, yeah, that it's man? really, it's still really cold in here. Look, you can see my breath now. Look. <sighs> yeah, like, but... that's how you know I'm not lying. But look, I'll do it out here. <sighs> that is a bit odd. That is a bit odd. You don't see my breath. But as soon as you come in here, oh my God, it's freezing. As soon as you come in here. It's a bit odd. That's how you know I ain't lying. I don't know if the camera can see that. I hope so. But that's crazy. That's... The change that. in temperature upon entering the corridor is no doubt strange, but it's the following incident that's by far the strangest. When Chris arrives at the site where he felt as though someone had touched him, he's immediately overcome by a feeling of dread. Now you don't have to look closely to notice a blue light in the distance. Yeah. This is where Chris had set up the infrared cameras, which is the same spot where he set them up last time. Near the cameras, however, there's a small staircase that leads to a space below that Chris hadn't fully explored. He proceeds to check out the space and captures this. It's a weird noise in this room. Ooh! That was like a whisper or something, that was weird. Speak over for a second, I need to speak over. That's creepy. It's a weird noise in this room. It is weird. I get he could, someone, you know. If you listen closely, you can hear what sounds like someone whispering in a deep, monotone voice. Viewers agree that this alone would have made Chris run for the hills had he listened to the audio right then and there. But it's the following incident that did just that. Oh, he actually he heads just back sprint. upstairs and arrives at the creepy corridor. Things take a terrifying turn. This is what was captured. Really creepy in here. As I walk, it sounds like people are talking. I don't know if that's just the sound of my feet echoing or what. It's really creepy. This is a sick little space though. Like it's so cool looking. I respect the fuck that, fuck that. Like, uh, uh, I'm with you. Right, well, hold on. I wanna, I wanna see that again. I wanna see that again. He runs too quick. What? Is it as if something falls? What does that look? It's as if something falls, isn't it? I assume it's an animal, but like, also abandoned buildings are like, you know, homeless people also like chill in abandoned buildings, right? Ah, oh, this does seem a bit too abandoned. It could be like an animal or something else. What the hell is that? Something, something. It could be something. Grab your camera, man. God, this is so fucking cool! Look at this place! I know 
y'all heard that. I'm watching the downstairs camera more closely to me, yeah. Give the shot. Uh, oh, thank you for the sub page. Sorry. Just oh, move. Sorry. Me. Shit. 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 Uh, nothing. I promise you. I'll, I'll, I'll skip it back. But literally nothing so far. Literally nothing. I'm gonna keep it on it. I, I move myself, don't I? I know you heard that. It's daylight. Yeah. What is this notion that ghosts only exist in the nighttime? It could be daytime. It, it, creepy things are creepy regardless of when you go there. Activity at night for some reason, or more people are paranoid at night because they can't see very much and are more likely to report things as ghosts. Scared the sh out of me. I can't even That's doubt that. Out of me. Immediately after Chris, here's a noise coming from above. A piece of debris from upstairs hits the ground, oh, sending him running out of the debris. corridor it in a panic a frenzy. He arrives back upstairs, unaware that during this time, the infrared camera from below had caught footage of a ghostly figure walking about before suddenly disappearing. That is weird. What's even more strange is that the figure appears Merry only seconds Christmas, later. Jack. But you can Hope see it. Christmas and New Year's as amazing as you. Oh, thank you. Thanks I appreciate for all that. you do for us. These last few months being a fan have been the best months ever. Thank you so much. That really means a lot. Seriously. Yeah, no, uh, that's like... You know? It's crazy. Mars, thank you for the gifted sub uh, for the six months. Why do I keep saying gifted? College station is a bitch, but I have some money. I appreciate that. Thank you. Look after yourself, man. That's very weird. After the piece of debris Average had mysteriously Discord. fallen on its own. <laughs> the Discord world walk. It's the fucking- you know what it is? You know what walk that is? Literally this. Tell me that that ghost didn't have this walk. Uh, that wasn't worse, but... Tell me now the ghost doesn't walk like that. What's even more strange is that the figure appears only seconds later after the- Tell me now that ghost isn't doing this. Right now. You can't tell me the ghost isn't walking like that. Ghost got the virgin walk. Piece of debris had mysteriously fallen on its own. Feeling beyond scared, Chris looks around to find the piece of debris that fell. This big ass box just fell on this great- Oh, that's what it was. Maybe it fell from up there. Oh, oh my god, my horse races. Okay. Oh my god, going. my horse races. Oh my god, my horse races. <laughs> At least it didn't say horse racist. I mean, that would have been probably the worst way you could sometimes. <laughs> my god, my horse races. Oh my god, that's funny. I'm gonna put the IR camera up here while I explore. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I got the IR camera set up at the top floor. By setting up the infrared cameras on the top floor, Chris hopes to capture footage of who, or whatever it might have been that dropped the box. Oh, he sets up that. the IR cameras from below, and continues to explore the place, specifically downstairs. But, when Chris returns to where the IR cameras have been set up, this is captured. Anything. Never mind, I saw that quote. I saw that. I caught that one. Did you guys catch that one? Because I caught. 
No fucking... That's... Well, that's... That's... Well, it's hard to dispute if... Oh, he was knocked out? Jesus, fuck. I must admit, you know what? I'm gonna say it. Everything we've seen so far... If he had a friend there with him, it was very easy to execute. Drop the box on the grate. Yank him with a wire and shit. The only thing that's weird is the weird Virgin War ghost. But... At the same time... That isn't, like, completely out of the question disprovable. I mean, uh, uh, like... That could be a, just a normal, actual, real human being, you know? You never know. I'm trying to be a skeptic, but that is weird. How'd he get knocked out? I guess he hit his head. I'm just trying to work out whether it looked like he got yanked from the back or pushed. Push that one more time. That does look like yanked from the back, doesn't it? then he's a big dude would be hard to do that with a wire that's very true that's very true he's a very he's a bigger dude that's true that would be would be hard in to a swift with motion wire. chris is yanked by an unseen force sending him straight to the ground and knocking him out upon impact minutes pass force sending him in a swift motion chris is yanked by an unseen force sending him straight to the ground and knocking him out upon impact Minutes pass, when he suddenly wakes up to find that he's been unconscious for a while. Realizing what just happened, he grabs his things and immediately leaves the place. Yeah, With all that's happened, as well as the previous incident from last time, viewers no doubt believe that something sinister dwells in this place. Whether weird. malicious or not, the question is begged. But, but, my YouTuber brain kicks in, right? I'm a YouTuber. I make a video, it, go, it goes viral, all right? I get touched by a ghost. The video does really well. Viewers are adamantly requesting I go back to this place. I need to one-up what happened last time or the video's a flop, right? If I go back. Hello, Mr. And isn't it coincidental Hope that the perfect thing- you're having a great thing... night, dude. Can you, so you welcome me to the boys club, please? Of course, welcome to the boys. I've recently come out as gender fluid. Have a good welcome. night. Welcome. You too. Um, no, it's right, like, think about it from this perspective. I've just made a killer YouTube video because I've got like this creepy little figure that's watching me from the corner in, in like this video and I get touched and it's all very like weird. Viewers beg me to go back for months, right? I finally go back. The only way this video does better than the last video is if it's even better than the last one. And what happens? I get shoved and off a thing and knocked out. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, I go back to where my fucking, one of my most popular videos is filmed, and I see something even more surreal. Coincidentally. I don't know. Like, my YouTuber brain says, like, that's... 
that's awfully good for a video. That's an awfully good thing to happen. I don't know. I don't know. Like, he very, you know. Would a friend knock him out? He wasn't knocked out. He just pretended to be knocked out. That's what I'm arguing. Uh, he, he, I don't think he was actually knocked out. He just laid there for a bit. You know, that's easy to do. I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it is fake. I think some of the stuff in there, like, I don't know how you would fake the, the ghost man walking. The camera tricks? I don't fucking know. But, like, you know, I just... Me with a content brain? You know. But respect the grind, great execution. Oh, yeah, it's a really entertaining watch. Really cool space to feel have documented. Like, it's cool. It's fucking cool. I liked it. I, I, I like it. I'm not knocking the guy. I'm not knocking anyone for faking ghost content. I admire it, in fact. I just... I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I think they've done a really, like... They, they've made a really entertaining video in a really cool space. No disrespect. Did Chris way. capture evidence of a paranormal happening? Or is there something else that could explain this? Although it's hard to be sure what occurred, one thing is certain. Chris is definitely never coming back to this place again. Numero tres. This next video comes from a hospital in Argentina where a security guard had been doing the night shift when out of nowhere, something pretty strange was caught on camera. The hospital in question is known as the Fino He moved in his chair. Pinocetto Sanatorium, which is located in the city of Buenos Aires. Not much is known about this hospital, except that it might be haunted. Why? This notion had just become popular recently when surveillance footage from inside the hospital captured- That's what a camera looks like! At around three in the morning, a security guard is filling out some paperwork when he looks across at the entrance and sees an old woman walking through the automatic doors. He promptly gets up and receives the old lady. According to the guard, this is what? Run that by me again. He promptly gets up and receives the old lady. What do you mean receives? What do you mean he receives an old lady? I'm not sure. I've never once greeted someone at the door and be like, happy to receive you. I, whatever floats According to the know. guard, this is exactly what happened that morning. Plain white floor. It's not too difficult. It's it's very. I mean, you've got a static camera angle, and most of the time, most frames of the video, every part of the floor is empty because he moves from his spot, so you can get a shot of every empty part of the floor. You oh, you track and mask the lady and overlay it with the empty image. I could do it. Like, I, 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 give me a few hours with editing software, I could pull this off. Like, I don't think it's too hard to do. Okay, no, the wheel, the wheelchair is hard. Unless she doesn't get in it. No, she doesn't, because they don't put the feet flaps out. He just puts it back. Okay, then that, that, that's All the details enough. of the security guard story check out, except for one the old woman that supposedly walked in and met with him. No one else is seen except the guard. Strangely though, the story checks out. I'm like, obviously it doesn't because I've just seen the video and there's no woman dickhead. You can see the doors opening as though someone had walked in. Further adding to the strangeness, the guard is seen conversing with someone, but they don't appear to be there or anywhere in sight. The video on its own is creepy, but it's the story that makes it creepier. It's the following detail, though, that makes it a whole lot spooky. According to the guard, after attending the old lady and offering her a wheelchair because of how frail she looked, she made her way to the elevator. She then told the guard she was going to the ninth floor to look for the ID and belongings of a patient who had passed away the day before. 
she proceeds to enter the elevator and is never seen again. Oh, As it turns out though, the name of the woman which the guard had written down on his clipboard was in fact a patient of the hospital who had passed away the day before. Because of this, viewers believe that the ghost of the old lady had come to collect her things. Real or not. It's it's a cool little story, but it's it's very easily edited. It's kind of cool though. Uh, it's a good story. Yet, it seems that no further information is available on this video, making yeah, this whole exactly. incident a total mystery. It's interesting, but, you know... It is interesting. I like it. It's a fun little story. The following video comes from Troy Legault, who lives happily with his family and three dogs inside a house that was only built 10 years ago. Given the age of this house, I enjoyed that. That, 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 you know what, I fuck with this couple, not the couple that were arguing. The couple with the wife that whips the dude on the ass. It's funny. Funny couple. Troy doesn't think that it's old enough to be haunted. However, it seems that- You know what? I want to speak about that. There's, there was a, there was a game I played, um, that I don't remember the name of, um, I think it's just called Murdered, isn't it? Yeah, Murdered, Soul Suspect. That was the game. I played a little bit of it, not the whole thing, but enough. But a, a detective that gets shot, but he doesn't know by who, so he goes out to solve his own murder as a ghost. And one of the things he learns uh, when he becomes a ghost is you can only, he can only enter certain homes. And in the game, you can kind of like go into ghost vision and see which homes you can enter. It's their way of basically making the game a linear playthrough because you can't enter every house in the game. However, the way they explain this, I thought was really interesting and honestly, probably more realistic. People always argue old houses are haunted, right? This game argued that ghosts actually couldn't enter old houses and could only enter new houses. Why? Because back in the olden days, people were generally superstitious and believed in ghosts. So people would have their houses blessed or whatever so that ghosts couldn't enter them. However, in the modern day, we build houses. We don't fucking bless them because we don't generally believe in ghosts. We're more scientific. And all of a sudden, because the, the houses aren't blessed, they, 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 Ghosts can enter them willy-nilly because like no one ever bothers like blessing their shit. I think that's a perfectly reasonable and kind of interesting explanation. And I was like, you know what? Whenever people are like, oh, this house is too new to be haunted. I'm always like, well, you know, it isn't blessed. And like traditionally older houses are. I always thought that was a really, really interesting, um, like take, like, no, I've never, I don't know, I've never seen anyone go down the, actually newer houses are more likely to be haunted route. And I thought that game was really, really cool. This this house is a new build, as is the house I live in currently. Like, you know, it's like, I, I think it's really fucking cool. And that's really sick. I think it's a really, really cool, like, never heard that take before. The game's called Murdered uh, Soul Suspect. Um, it's, it, it was an alright game. The bits I played were fun. Um, but I didn't, I didn't play at all has been proven wrong in regards to this notion as it was just recently that something very unusual was captured. Prior to this video, there have been other weird happenings in his home. From things moving on their own, to lights turning on by themselves, none compare to the following footage. On November 6th of 2022, at around 8.30 in the morning, recently. this was captured. Okay, ceiling fan starts. Banging. Oh. Oh, that's, that's actually quite a lot. Yeah, like, oh wow, that is a lot. Interference with the microphone, door opening, thingy. Oh, that is weird. So I was literally just about to say, though, if I want to be like really like this, this is me stretching. But like, if I really want to be like ultra skeptic, the, f the the ceiling fan coming on may have caused a draft that if the door wasn't really really closed properly, it could have made caused it to come open a bit. And obviously, everything blowing is probably just by the breeze. But then when it turned off and everything closed, that's a little bit different. Mm, actually, wait, no doors doors sometimes do close when drafts change. That was too instantaneous though. That is weird. No, that is a little bit weird. And the knocking's weird as well. That, no, that one's weird. I can't really... I can't really say shit about that. That's strange. But again, 
There's no way of proving the house is empty. So, you know. Oh no, that opened quite wide there. And also the little uh, the the green thing tracking it is interesting. Light came back on. Turn it off. Although not much info is given on this clip, it's still pretty weird. weird. All that is known is that no one was home when this happened. As with most oh. viewers, Troy can't seem to explain this. But of course, what are your thoughts on this? That one is weird. Ghost or if something no one's in the else? house, that one's weird. Like, there's not much if I can say. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos I have you not. to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. That was weird. I've never actually seen anything ghostly. I've heard things. I've only ever like heard things that I've been like, kind of odd. I, I once heard a voice whisper, I'm sorry, into my ear. I also heard, uh, I lived in a very old house. Uh, last with Scott's major, we lived in a very, very old house. Uh, and I, one time I tried to sleep in the living room. Uh, I don't know, I, 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 was, I don't know why, I just really didn't want to sleep in my bed. I was like, I don't want to sleep in bed tonight. I was having a weird anxiety moment. And I was like, I don't want to be in this room anymore. Uh, I decided I was going to sleep downstairs. So I put the TV on and I just kind of like dozed off a bit. And as I was like nearly about to fall asleep, which is why I doubt this, because maybe I was just dreaming. I heard two little girls like start laughing, but it was just directional as if they were kind of like, if I've got my eyes closed, I'm laying, they're kind of like there, you know, like uh, you can't see what I'm gesturing, but like, here, like in relation to me. Ah, uh, it was weird. It was definitely weird. This last video- anyway, I jolted back up and just went straight to bed. Like I was like, no, no, my fuck that, I'm not sleeping down there. But like also I, I, I was half asleep and I probably just dreamt that realistically, you know? Anna Tan, who's the mother of a baby girl named Evelyn. This is the problem. Sorry, I'm gonna. I will play that in a minute. Every time I've heard something, I have been like half asleep. The only one time that I maybe wasn't was I was at work, um, and it happened while I was sat at my desk. But there's two explanations of that. One, my uh, one of my colleagues was in my boss's office to my left, and I heard it in my left ear. But it sounded too close to be him. And also, why would he do a weird like eh, like raspy voice? Just a uh, it could have been him, but very weird. Also, at that point, I just started streaming and I was working a full-time job as well as doing uni. I was sleeping like three hours a night and I, the first thing in the morning, I'd sit at my desk. If I didn't have much work to do, I would be like this. I remember once being like my, I would sit there and my head would do this at my desk. Like, I, my boss came over right after I just went, like I was so sleep deprived. I was so, so sleep deprived. I literally couldn't even hold my head up at first thing in the morning. Like I, I would sit there and just be like this at my fucking desk. It was like bad. Um, I'd go to, I, I used to go, we used to have a comms room where I used to check the uh, comms room every day. I used to go down there, check the comms room room real quick and then have a five minute nap. <laughs> I was so, so sleep deprived. And that's why we're here. Keep subbing people. Guys. 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 And this made it all worth it because now I have this job. This last video comes hours. from Anna Tan, who's the mother of a baby girl named Evelyn. It was only a few months ago that Anna's brother passed away. His passing has been very painful for Anna, considering yeah. how close he was to her and her daughter. Oh, bless. Although tragic, Anna takes comfort in the thought that he still lives on in the afterlife and continues to watch over Sorry, Evelyn this and the rest of her family. One day, Anna and her daughter are in the kitchen when something very strange happens. Anna takes out her phone and begins to record. Fucking hell. A fucking phone JPEG or like camera JPEG will never not make me laugh. This is what was captured. Who are you talking to? Talking to Apple. Apple. No. Apple. No. 
Who are you talking to? Evelyn. Who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to? It appears as though Evelyn is talking to someone. Anna is convinced that her baby daughter had been in contact with her deceased uncle. This happens though. There's many reports of like kids seeing deceased family members. And my brain's like, kids have very vivid ima about ima imaginations. Do is that just how they cope with like grief? Or like, do kids have a gift? You know? Oh, you know. There's a kid who's like a family friend who has always seen people. And uh, it's always been a little bit creepy. She's saying uncle though. Yeah, I definitely think she's, she thinks she's speaking to her uncle. I don't doubt that at all. I just, I don't know. This notion becomes even more believable considering that a male voice is heard early in the video. Who are you talking? If you listen closely, the word uncle can be heard. For this reason, including the fact that her daughter kept on repeating uncle over and over, who are you talking to? Anna believes that her brother was present during this recording. Like with most videos though, I'll let you decide whether or not that's the case. It's weird. All in I all. I think when it's the, the spirit of a loved one, it's kind of comforting though. Although strange, this video is pretty wholesome. Yeah, no it is. It is. Thanks for watching, and I You're hope you enjoyed. Welcome, bro. I did. Until next Anyways, I've been me, you've been you, and you've been awesome. <laughs> I'll see you all soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.